Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jezra, and in this video I'm gonna be showing you how to use a TalkBox with a MIDI keyboard without using an audio interface. So just a quick reminder, if you watched the entire video and you liked it or enjoyed it or learned anything, press the like button and then also consider subscribing so you don't miss any videos in the future. I release a video every single week. There's also links in the description to all the gear that I show in this video and more. If you want to know more about the TalkBox, I have a lot of other videos for that, so click on the channel if you want to see more videos. Alrighty then, let's get started. So one of the first things that I have to say is that you're going to need a couple things for this to work. Now if you've watched my other video, um, you'll know what to have, but in this video it'll be a little bit different. So one of the first things you're going to need is obviously a TalkBox. The second thing you're going to need is a computer with a DAW. So I'm using the free version of FL Studio to make it easier for you guys, but you can basically follow along with any DAWs. Um, as long as you follow the same basic instructions, it should work. All right, so the third thing you're gonna need is actually a female to male quarter inch to 3.5 millimeter adapter. And I'm actually gonna show you what this is used for later on in the video, but this is crucial. So one important thing that I forgot to mention is you need a MIDI keyboard. Okay, so I'm gonna change up the camera angle so it faces down and I'll show you guys exactly how to set this up to work. All right, so here we are on my desk and the first thing we're gonna do is actually set up the talk box. So we're gonna to want to plug in our power supply. And the next thing we wanna do is plug in our quarter inch cable. So one end is going to go into the input jack. All right, the next thing we're going to do is use this adapter. So as you can see here, one end the quarter inch jack will go into, and then this other end will actually go into the headphone jack on your laptop. So the other end of the quarter inch cable will plug right into here just like that. And then this end will go into the headphone jack, like I said. Perfect. Now we just got to put in the tube. So we'll plug in our MIDI keyboard. So I have to use an adapter for my computer. Um, all computers are different, so you probably don't have to do this step, but I do, so first I'll plug in my USB adapter, and then I'll plug in my USB cable to the adapter, and then I'm going to plug in the other end of the USB to my MIDI keyboard. Alright, so now the MIDI keyboard is connected to the computer, and the talk box is connected to the headphone jack. Okay, now that we have everything set up, the MIDI keyboard is connected to the computer and the talk box is connected to the headphone jack on the computer, I'm going to switch the view over to my computer screen and I'll show you how to do the rest in FL Studio. Alright, so here we are. We're looking at my laptop screen. The first thing we're going to want to do is open up FL Studio. All right, after that, we're gonna want to find a plugin called MiniSynth. To do that, we're gonna go up to Add, and then down to MiniSynth. So now we should be hearing something uh, coming out of the TalkBox tube. Cool, so we're mainly there. Now, if you're using any other DAW, just find a very basic synthesizer and follow along with these instructions. So now that we're here at mi on MiniSynth, the first thing we're gonna wanna do, it's already set to SAW, but if it's not set to SAW for some reason, that's the waveform that we wanna use. So we wanna click on SAW. We're gonna leave transpose alone. We're gonna leave the modifier and noise alone. For the voice mode, we're gonna set this from poly to mono. So if you have it set to poly, um, you can press multiple notes at once. And we don't want that. We want to be able to only press one note at a time. And if we click mono, it lets us do that. So, 
So the next thing we're going to want to do is bring up the slide time. Now this is all personal preference, but basically the slide time is the time it takes from one note to transition into the other. It's also known as portamento or glide. So this is zero slide time. And then this is the maximum amount of slide time. Now I like to have mine somewhere right about there. Alright, and that's how you make a talk box patch inside of your DAW. If you follow along with these instructions, you should have a very similar patch and it, sh and it should sound fairly the same. Alright, so let's try it out and see how it sounds. Alright, and like in my other videos, I gotta do a little mini Daft Punk cover, so we'll try that out. Alrighty, and then we can even switch over to a little bit of California Love. Alright, so not bad. Um, we're routing the sound that's coming from the laptop. We're routing it straight into the talk box. So that way we don't even need an audio interface. Um, and a lot of you guys asked for this video. So I chatted with a couple people that commented on one of my videos. So we found out that we can just transfer the sound that's coming out of the computer into the talk box just by using this adapter. There are a few things that I got to say, and that is the way I'm showing you how to use a talk box here is not a good way to record yourself playing the talk box unless you know you're recording yourself through your phone. That would work fine, but if you're trying to record yourself through the DAW itself, um, it's probably not going to work. I haven't tried it. I don't think it'll work. So the way I'm showing you how to do it here is really good for practicing. If you're just starting to get into using the talk box, this is a great way to practice, but it is not a good way to actually record your talk box. Now, I actually made a full video on how to properly record a talk box. So I will put that in the right hand corner for you guys to click on if you want to watch it. But I already covered how to actually properly record a talk box. This is not the way. This is good for practicing and that's it. So guys, there we are. That is how you set up a talk box with a MIDI keyboard on your computer without an audio interface. I hope you liked the video. If you did, drop a like and then also subscribe if you learned or enjoyed anything. All right, everybody. Until next time, I'll see you all in another video. Peace out.